idea between behind putting up the insulation sheeting on the roof is um, twofold. One, just to help with the heat that's going to beat down on this roof during summer, but also if there ever gets a chance that water might get through little bits of the whole roof up top, um, this will stop it from getting onto the ceiling sheeting. So it will allow it to just sort of run down and then head into the um, outside wall or whatever, or it will just little drip sit there and dry. Um, I had that idea to do this before now, but like during the week we had some heavy rain and I, I found a drip of water just here in the one end of the shed and turned out there was like a, a screw hole that was on the top of a ridge so I wasn't too worried about it but we actually had some really driving rain and that um, allowed some water to drip through and there was like a maybe a two inch size puddle at the bottom on the floor under there so I corked that up this morning and now I'm going to finish getting all the wall done and move up onto the, the ceiling and sheet it up and everything like that fill up all the the joins and I guess while that's drying I can um, have another look for screws on the on the roof and things and um, just make sure there's everything sealed completely just getting closer to being finished <laughs> sheeted and I've also got um, spat filler in all of the joints and nail holes and that sort of stuff. The only stuff I've still got to do is all the sort of corner areas which I'm going to do is silicon so it's a bit more flexible. Ended up with internal dimensions of was it 2180 or about 7 foot 2 by <coughs> 2940 about nine foot eight. Um, at the corners, like the sides, it's about five foot nine high, so 1750. Um, right in the center, about six foot four and a half. Um, 1940. So, all of this will still need a bit of a sand, and then I've got to do the internal paint at the moment it's just under COVID so that'll be roll it on and I need to do a I'm going to do another door inside the sliding door that seals it because as I've always said you know, this isn't it's not a garden shed it's a storage shed so I'm really basically trying to get it like an inside room so wait for all of that to dry, skid out of sand, use some silicon cork on all of the corners, all the joints there, down around the bottom. It's not bad. Oh. Still got a fair bit of the MDF left over. Um after getting the whole place sheeted and having little off cuts and that sort of stuff with the stuff I painted I've still got about I tried counting them 97, 98 pieces that are 6 by 1200 or 2 foot by 4 foot <coughs> um, don't know what I'm going to do with all that but it still worked out cheaper than buying the full size sheets and cutting them down to make this internal area. 
I've got to think of something to do with all of this stuff. Anyway, um, wrapping this video up at this point, might do a quick little one of the painting and building of the door and doing the door jam type thing because even though it's a little door, same principles apply no matter where you build a door. So that'll probably be the wrap up. But I think with all the stuff that's been going on, this one could get a little bit long, so I'm wrapping it. Thanks for coming along on the journey. <laughs>